this tutorial we're going to teach you how to do an Edivate group, set those groups up so you can share professional development ideas with your staff or people in your PLCs, your professional learning communities. First thing you do is go ahead and log into edivate.com. Click the three bars at the top left, click groups. We're now going to go ahead and click this button here. It says create your own. You're going to give a group a name. So I'm going to just call this test group. Unfortunately, you have to give it a description. So I guess that's not necessarily an unfortunately, but so that people can find it a little bit easier. So I'll just call it my science teachers group or something like that. A little description. You can upload your logo if you have one, a cover photo if you want to make it nice and pretty. Um, down here it explains the difference between public, private, and hidden. Chances are you probably want private that way. It'll be searchable, but only people who you've given permission will be able to actually access it. Then you're going to go ahead and say create. It'll ask are you sure you want to create this group. Once it's created, in order to invite people to your group, you're going to click up here where it says Leader Tools. Right in here you can change it from public, private to hidden. You can now add objectives to it. You can edit your description. But right in here is the most important part, your members. So we click members. Right up here you can now type in emails. You can search for somebody. But let's see how Jason Owen appears. There he is, Snowflake Unified School District. So you can click him. And then you just click the send invites. And it'll send a little email to both of us. It'll always tell you who's in your group. Um, it'll give them a code that they will need to use to sign in. Um, also, it'll tell you when they've actually accepted your group request. Um, it'll give you all your group members that have actually um, joined this group. Because it's private, people can request to join it. You don't have to give them that permission, but right up here you'll be able to accept them or not accept them. While we're here, might as well go through the rest of it. So you could create and add your own resources, upload resources that you could share. You can create brand new folders for all the different topics that you want to discuss. You can give them tasks. These are also you could create uh, folders as well. So let's give a task video. Add. Let's add a task. We're going to group to watch a video. Task type. We're going to actually say a video. So we have to come in here and look at the different videos that we may want your group to watch. So let's just say I want just any of these. I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Okay, go to task name, watch this, test description, hit submit. Um, say yes for the task. And now your group should be able to see this. Um, while we're here again, we'll go to reports. You can actually see the reports of people who have signed in. Um, it'll create a report like this. You can just take a look. Oh, look, there's Brian Weir, membership date, things that they've posted, things that they've done. Um, and then finally, you can email and you can type in a message, test message, and hit send. It'll send an email to that group. So that's pretty much what uh, the group's all about.